G'day, and welcome back to the 40 channel. So today, just a quick video on Sway Bar. stripped all the sway bar out um, and we sandblasted it all, got it all painted. Instead of putting the rubber bushes in, we're putting in polyurethane bushes from Polytuff. Now, you've heard me talk about Polytuff. Why do I talk about them? Because they're Australian made, right here in the land of Oz. So that's pretty exciting. I love seeing stuff made in Australia. Not only that, it's a high quality product that they use a high quality urethane on. Now they use a high quality polyurethane, unlike some of the other brands out there. Even the bigger name brands don't use the same quality as these guys, which is why they break down and disintegrate so quickly. These guys have a five year, 100,000 K warranty. So that's back in your product like you wouldn't believe, I reckon. These were the rubber ones that come out. They've all gone brittle and they're just cracking and just falling apart. So I'm going to rebuild this sway bar and we'll chuck it in under the troopy and it'll be better than you. So the first thing we need to do is get in our bushes into these little holes here. Now straight away you're going to see that it's going to be a little bit tricky. All we're going to use is a uh, 24mm socket and a bit of R1. So you can either use your aerosol can R1. I'm going to use the uh, non-aerosol one, put in a spray bottle and it'll work out sensational. Righto. Righto, first thing we're going to do is polyurethane bush and the sway bar link. Put it in a vise. You can use a press if you like as well. We're just going to line it all up. Give it a good soak with some R1. Make it all slippery. And it'll look like it's going to deform or break. And it just pops straight in. Right, we get to that stage there. We'll wind it all the way back out. Give another spray all the way around. Get our 24 mil socket. Wind it in. And that's it. Just like that, it's not very hard at all. So it looks like it's gonna be a pretty tricky task to get it in, but you saw how easy that was. All right, so it's exactly the same process with the actual sway bar. Line it up in the vise, squeeze it in, and this one should pop in pretty good. Otherwise, we still need that socket on the other end. Let's give that a go too. Line up our urethane bush. Good soak with some R1. In that bush goes. Just pop straight in without even using the socket on this other side. So how good was that? So from the bolt set, you've got a little crush tube, a castle nut. So we just get the crush tube out. I'm gonna put a little bit of lithium grease. When you buy anything from Polytuff, it all comes with some white lithium grease ready to go. Now I'm gonna use the R42 from Chemtools. This is a lithium based grease as well. And I've just been using this over the entire 40 series cruiser. And I have it here, so I'm gonna to continue to use that. Just put a little bit of grease on the outside of our crush tube and we're going to slide it straight into our urethane bush. Now if you find it difficult to go in, just get a soft blow hammer or a copper hammer and we'll tap that straight in. Done. Now you can buy this entire kit from Online Auto Parts. Now these bushes have a split in them, so you can slop them straight over the bar. They also have our little groove there at the top, so that when it fits in, it stops the bush sliding backwards and forwards. All right, so a bit of uh, grease, we're gonna grease the inside of that bush there. We're gonna grease the outside and the inside of our connecting points. Now you've got a little retainer lug just on one side of them. 
make sure they put that on the inside and then slide that straight over so our new bolt will slide straight through there and just spin it so that it catches on that little retainer put our nut on the other side Now we're not doing these up tight at all because we don't want to crush any of that. We want to have full free movement the whole time. So we'll just do that up. So it's just firm, just so the back of that bolt pulls in. Make sure we've got full movement all the time. Once you're in a good position, let's get our split pin. I know, now it's time to uh, fit the swing arm. Let's get under the vehicle and get that done. I love how much room is under these cruisers. It's fantastic. Right. Pretty simple, just line up your holes, put your bolts in. Screw that nut on, and then we'll put the uh, split pin in. Pin punch, bend that split pin right over, can't come out. Right on, we'll just open up our bush with that split in it. Force it over our sway bar, just like that. Spin it around, slide that into place. And we'll lift her up and bolt her up. Just make sure that uh, the little dimple in the bush is lined up with the um, the metal support. I know, that's it. Sway bars all hooked up. All new polyurethane bushes from Polytuff. Hardware kit from uh, Online Auto Parts. And it has come up an absolute treat. So there's no reason why this won't last, I don't know, another good 10, 15 years. So, right on guys, that's it. So thanks heaps for that. Just a very quick short video today on how to put a sway bar in and all the bushes in. Anyway, guys, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep up with what's going on with the 40 build. And um, yeah, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Right, now we're going to climb out of here. Whew.